Welcome to the Optimal Fitness Golf Academy by Glyn Meredith. In this video I thought we would take a look at the slice, a common problem area for a lot of golfers um, and can be quite destructive, um, and how the direction of your swing path is directly connected um, to hitting a slice. So as I swing this club up to the top and start to come down, you see what I'm going to do now is throw my hands right out in front of my body. And as I do that, the club head will tend to follow. So if you watch the direction I'm going to swing the club head now, it's following the line I've just drawn there. That's known as an out-to-in swing path. You can see I'm swinging that club head, in fact, to the left-hand corner of the screen. Now, in most cases, as you do that, you're going to tend to leave the club face open or pointing somewhere to the right-hand corner. And that's going to imply side spin to the ball that's going to produce the slice. Now, there are a lot of uh, training aids um, or plane finders on the market, as is the one I use uh, here in the studio, which are designed to help you feel that you're swinging that club a little bit straighter. So if you haven't got that, you can do the same thing as what I've set up here, just with head covers. So you can see I've got one head cover outside the line of the ball and one head cover inside the line of the ball. So that's designed to help me feel that I'm swinging that club a little bit straighter. So as I swing this one up to the top and start to come down, if I don't get it quite right and still produce an out-to-in swing path or throw those hands out in front of me, I'm going to hit the first head cover and hit the second, showing that I haven't achieved the correct swing path. Um, potentially, you can still hit um, a slice from there. So if we have a look at this video, I'm going to try and now feel that I'm going to swing the golf club through the gap that we've created there. So I take it up to the top, and rather than throwing my hands out in front of my body, I'm going to try and feel that I'm going to work the club a little bit more from the inside, through the gap that we've created, and extend my hands all the way through to the target. And that's going to help you produce the straight shot that you're looking for. 